We are the franchisor of the Arby's brand, operating 3,500 restaurants across the country. Um, we are also the largest franchisee, so uh, in terms of how we activate, um, you know, I look at it from a planning perspective of uh, what's best for the system in terms of national advertising, uh, but then at the same time, uh, looking at uh, franchisee practices, what we're doing, are there scalable opportunities, uh, and in many cases, learnings um, that we're able to test, uh, try, evaluate, and then provide best practice guidance to our franchise partners. And which is very interesting because you can't just sit in a meeting and say, okay, everybody do this. Right. You know, yeah. you have to go in there and yeah. sell each one. That's absolutely right. And, and, and that organically, um, even though it's difficult, it allows you to have some great, you know, checks and balances in the sense yep. that you have an idea, you have to road test it and you have right. to sell it in. Right. And once you sell it in, you can activate. Right? Yeah, ab absolutely. And right. get the yeah. feedback in the process of sure. potentially pivoting and changing and, and recalibrating. Right. I think more than ever, um, you know, it's, it's kind of two things as you say that that, that come to mind. Uh, diplomacy and data. Right. right? So I, I think the diplomacy piece is recognizing that our franchise partners are vested. We're in this together. Um, so what we're doing, you know, we, we want them to succeed. We, we want them to be successful. The data comes in. Again, I think with the, the willingness to uh, take what we've done, uh, whether it be from linear TV, which you know, admittedly is still a very large part of our strategy from a reach standpoint, uh, but particularly now, and that's really why I'm, I'm here, uh, is to, to validate some of the things that we're doing, but then learn from you know, some of the amazing brand, brands and vendors that are here, is really to, to mine that data and say, you know, what's working? Like I said, uh, a little bit of affirmation, maybe with, with what we've done, how we've approached uh, certain executions or initiatives, um, but the willingness too to say it came up short uh, and, and determine was it a, uh, a creative piece, was it the, the audience, the way that we targeted, um, was it the product? Uh, you know, so again, I think it's, you, you kind of insert that into uh, test market uh, evaluations if we're looking at a new platform, a menu offering, to say what's the efficacy, is it, is it going to translate uh, in market, is it platform worthy, uh, are we willing to Again, take that data and say uh, it's compelling enough. It, it has the the sales potential to drive the comp sales that we want it to. The traffic that we think clearly is important to get people to come to the restaurants. And again, if it is, sharing those insights, uh, vetting it through uh, the channels that we need to our, our board of directors uh, to to make them um, understand the, the data points that we're looking at, and again, then interpret it. And then coming back to that diplomacy piece, I think it's the the listening part, right? Is, is here's what we think is the right thing to do and why, uh, but hearing their side of the equation. You look at a lot of different technologies and you're looking at a lot sure. of mobile. Um, for the tool set for 2015, mm -hmm. real tools that are available that you can use in this year's marketing strategy, what are you excited about? What do you see out there that um, you're, you know, that you're either deploying or planning to right. deploy, but you have some passion about that yeah. you, you, you feel like is a good bet. Yeah, so, you know, and again, really what, what brings me here, I think, is the mobile piece specifically. Um, some, some of the brands that are here, um, their products can be sold on Amazon, right? So, mm -hmm. so the, the dependence on a point of uh, consideration, point of trial, and, and literally the ability to convert somebody making a left turn versus a right turn is mission critical for us. Um, so I, I think I'm probably most excited about uh, the mobile opportunity, meaning that if we take from the purchase funnel, again, I mentioned early in this conversation that TVs uh, is and will continue to be um, uh, an integral part of what we're doing from the, the mass reach consideration. Um, but what I'm most excited about is the sort of the holy grail of the mobile piece and that's the attribution. I think that we, through some of the partners that we've worked with, have done a, a better job of getting there. It's not solved by any stretch, uh, but I think we're, we're getting there. Um, so if we can really hone in on uh, audience targeting, behavioral targeting, uh, conquesting clearly is, is something we do, our competitors are doing it to us, uh, it's part of the game, uh, it's what makes it fun. Um, but if we can actually uh, then get that data back and actually determine was there a closed loop? Did we get people to come in? As mentioned, you know, I don't think we're, we're there yet, 
um, it, it is getting better. Some of the conversations yesterday, uh, uh, some of the, the vendors um, are, are, are giving way to getting again a lot closer. So I, I think the excitement is, is just in that chase, mm -hmm. determining how we can get that much closer.